Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Born here. Balvenie, 16 year French oak. Ooh, we like the Balvenie. Aged in Pinot cask style. Shut up. We're going to test it! Balvenie 16 style. Didn't know what I was going to say. Woo! Ah, we're in. I do like that they've got this like blue foil on there. Gold, blue and blue gold. Blue and gold, gold. yeah. The, there's all kinds of cool looks stuff. Nice. Yeah. You don't want to throw this tube away. It looks like you should it hold on to the tube. Fancy. Yeah. Even from the get go, I mean, we started reviewing in 2013. I liked the Balvenie packaging then. I did. And it hasn't changed. Still the yeah. same. It's kind of like an antique kinda just, paper. Yeah, just a simple but. Somewhat nice, Elegant fancy. At the same time. Yeah, I, I like their marketing, which is understated. The bottle shape, it kind of almost feels like a still. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Uh, so, this is brand new. It's got the blue there, too. Yeah, Balvenie 16 year French oak. It's been aged in Pinot de Chiron mm, like fortified say, wine cask. Fortified. I like how you say de Chiron. Pinot PBC. Now, this is going to be expensive. Um, I can just tell by the 16 <laughs> and on the embossing. So, um, this will be interesting. Yep. Finished. Let's say it's finished in 16 years. It does have on the tin uh, aged for, it doesn't say how long, but uh, standard uh, whisk bourbon cast, uh, whiskey cast or bourbon cast, it says, and then it's finished in the Pinot de Chiron. It's got this PDC nice casks. crisp. Oh yeah, fresh we, pear. I did crack this in the store with Matt and let him try it. Ooh, ooh and then I just ooh. got a little bit of yeah. a uh, dough rising, a tangy, yeah, little that, bit, little bit sour, little bit tart, sour fruit, not dang. like sour. You're gonna want to keep this one. Yeah, <laughs> That's, I already tasted it. I know. No, I know. It's a good I could, one. I could just tell. And it's, you gave up the last yeah. one too quick. You take it. I don't want it. Take it anyway. No, it was, I'm just teasing. It was a rye. <laughs> um, it, it's a so Pinot de Chiron. I mean, grapes. It's a fortified wine. You know, grapes are used in that. <laughs> and there's, I get, it's like a Welch's grape juice mm. on the nose. Ooh, <sighs> yeah, forty-seven point six percent ABV. We didn't say that. I believe forty. Yep, forty-seven point six. Holy moly, that's mm. nice. Mm. It's got a um. Like a rounded, mm. soft mouthfeel. The first thing that hit me was like a sweet, pure sugar, but not like sickly, syrupy sweet. Just sweet, almost like you had a berry rolled in, in nice sugar because it had these little berry notes. I was going to say green grapes. I've had where people mm -hmm. will freeze okay. freeze green grapes and then you roll them in mm, sugar, I granulated sugar. Yep. It's kind of a yeah, treat. I want that now. <laughs> That's right up front on the palate. That wow. that Pinot influence hits you. That's the first thing that hit me mm -hmm. even when I picked this up. Mm -hmm. For a finish, it's got a lot of influence on yeah. this whiskey. Yeah, that's amazing. All that's right up front. So, as soon as as soon as it's breaks the lip, you're getting that mm. that Pinot experience. The uh, mm -hmm. I get a little bit of a um, a spice character in the finish. Um, I'd say cinnamons and nutmegs. Yeah, nutmeg, maybe a touch of clove in there. Okay, yeah, yeah. And that's in the finish. I got to come back for mid palate. That's mm -hmm. there's a lot of transition going on here. Yeah. I want to say you should have bought two, but I'm nervous. <laughs> it might not be as high as you're thinking. Okay, then then I'm gonna because this is this is interesting. Let me see. That was my and that was when when uh, when it was in the store and I was like, you know, we'll get one of those depending on the price. Mm -hmm. What is it? Ooh. And he told me. I was like, yes. We'll Ooh, it. yeah. This is it's nice. The flavor up front <laughs> is really good. I've got a lot of whiskeys. There's a touch, but it doesn't really start to open up until you've actually taken that first swallow. And then it really will start to activate, move around. This thing jumping around the second it breaks your lip. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Very forward. There's a little bit of a, 
I think, did you say like rising dough? Yeah. I, I, I think it's more like a toast, mm. like toasted bread. A um, little bit of toast in there, toasted oak. All those pinot, that, that white, to me, that white grape, green grape type sweetness, granulated sugars, um, milk chocolates, caramels, cinnamon. Milk chocolate clove, and finish? Mid palate. Okay. Milk chocolate, I'm a little bit of caramel. Get the mid. Caramel, if you're fancy. Caramel. caramel. Lots, of, lots of transitional activity here, though. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Get a drop of water. Boy, is that nice. It surprised me from uh, yeah breaking the seal yesterday. Yeah, that is good. Here I thought the blue and the gold foil was just a little flash. That was a little bling. I do Wearing like your French bling. oak, though. Is that what they say? Yeah. In that movie? Bling. bling? You had to wear bling? <laughs> remember? I don't know. I don't even remember the name of the movie now. They worked in the, in the uh, it was like an Applebee's restaurant, and they had to wear bling. That was oh, part of the deal. no, it, it wasn't bling. bling. It's, um, what they call it? Yeah, because uh, wasn't Jennifer Aniston? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's one um, of the first movies. Yeah, oh, so it's not Flash. Yeah, the the people on screen are screaming at it right now. They're screaming. Yeah, because <laughs> it was it was called it was like uh, oh, oh, it'll come later. It'll come later. Yeah. So this says first cask, sixteen years of maturation and American oak cask brings an abundance of vanilla spice and warm honey notes. First cask up there. Hmm. Um, second cask. Yes, yeah, second cask. Finished in just pinot cask. Pinot cask brings energizing grapefruit. Tangy. Yeah, I was gonna say melon earlier. I forgot. Geranium. Yeah, floral. Little floral. Fruit and ginger. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Yeah. That that grapefruit kind of that tangy. Yeah. Tangy toast, seven point fruitness, six. fruitness, fruitiness to it. Very nice. That is that is interesting. Let's see if it says sixteen years in the first cask, right. and then it's finished in the Pinot cask for unknown. But then it's sixteen years old. Right. I guess they could put a younger age on it, but when it actually is. But you're telling me that was only a few months in a Pinot cask. A lot of influence. That was a very active Pinot de Chiron cask, PDC. Yeah. Very you know, nice. Wrong. I'm very impressed. Yeah, I think me too. Balvin, he did a great job on this one. Yes. Really, really nice. Man. Yeah, the honey in the finish. Mm. Boy, is that something. That is really good. Look at that. I even got placement right. Right. And we're going to bring this one back on. Great score. Uh, 92. Ooh. Yeah. I love this. I'm debating 92 or 93. Really I'm just going to take, I'll, let's just give it a 93. Mm, you had to top me, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, it's good. I mean, this is really, really good. Now, you've got to tell me, what is the Well, price? so I'll tell you, so when I, I love sherry cask, wine cask finishes on whiskeys. That's mm. probably my favorite genre, as I would say it. So I, I like it. I'm happy like, when like you pork. really enjoy one as well that I thought yeah. was, think is oh, good. Yeah. And you do as well. I yeah. think it, it definitely says something about the whiskey. 100%. This baby is active. Yeah. Uh, $190. Ooh, yeah. I mean, it's a little higher, but yeah, not as I, high as I thought. Yeah, I was expecting a $300. 16, yeah. Uh, well, a special finishing Balvenie 16 year. Right. I was I expected 250 to 300 It was only 190 mm, When I saw that blue on there, I thought, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got hit. I think it's well worth it. That is. That is good. It. Yeah. And that is good. I'm, uh, there ain't no lie about it. That is interesting. Hmm. One, how much? 190. 190. I mean, that's probably kind of what I thought. You know, when I, yeah. you know, but there's some craft in there. This is, this is good. Yeah. This is definitely one of those that stands head and shoulders above the norm. When I, when I just saw the blue and the gold foil, 16 year Balvany. I expected it, like I say, probably 275 range, so I was happy. I thought, I was like, ooh, yeah, we'll take one for sure. Damn, that's 190. Good. That yeah. is nice. It is nice. This is good. a very pleasant, it's almost a soft sipper that's got a lot, a lot of contemplative moments in it. I mean, I could spend, this is another one of those that it doesn't happen too much anymore. I could sit down with a movie with my wife, pour an mm -hmm. ounce of this, 
and just be puzzling out kind of what I'm getting as I go. I actually, we put a drop of water in it. I didn't think the water changed it at all. Didn't hurt it, didn't help it. Nope. Great um, meat. It was explosive right from the get-go. Um, and again... The finish is nice. We didn't really touch, I don't think, on the finish. Well, I did Some of the notes we were getting. But I mean, the finish is, it's got a nice finish to it. Lingers. At, at 47%. It actually, it feels a little bit hotter, I think. It actually, mm, you know, I, I might think this was 50% ABV. Yeah, it almost curled my mustache. Because of the that flavor that's packed in here. No, and, and what I will tell you most intriguing is the bursting of flavor, again, right as it passes your lips. Um, I'm used to, um, with peats and things, these extended long finishes. This baby's let you know it's there instantly. Mm -hmm. And... It literally made me want to hold on to it a little bit longer because I was like, whoa, I'm getting so much flavor up front. I don't want to let her go just yet. Yeah. <laughs> but that's interesting. I know. I could make it dirty. Yeah. I, was gonna... <laughs> I know. I was like trying to keep her. Me on Saturday night. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> <laughs> so... Very nice, Bob. Um, Very nice. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can check out our merchandise. Help support the show. It keeps the lights on and keeps the whiskey flowing. We've got coins, glasses, hats, yeah, shirts, all kinds of stuff on there. sets that look fancy, and yep. they are. You can also go to Patreon. And uh, if you go on Patreon, it's basically, do you like the show? If you like what we're bringing, you can go in and support for a dollar, two, three. You can pick whatever you want. You can cap it at you know, $1 a month or $20 a month. So you can do whatever you want. Yep. And we love it. So because it helps us buy things like this. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Slaunch it. Dummies. Dummies. Mm.